Hey guys, Crewman here, and in this video, I want to have a debate with you guys. The 170HX versus the RTX 5090. Which one is going to come out on top as the best GPU miner of this coming mining cycle? Okay, so before we start, I really want to hear your opinion after you watch this video in the comments down below, and I want to have a great debate. It's not fun, and it's not entertaining for either one of us if it's just me talking to myself without any feedback from you guys. I very much value it, and I want to hear your opinions on this subject. And then second, for this video to work, we're going to have to make some assumptions. Now first, I want you to remember guys that this is for entertainment purposes only. All the specs we have on the 5090 are rumors and we have seven more days until any embargoes are lifted and I'll be covering all the announcements live at CES. So make sure you come back and check those announcements in a week. I could be totally wrong. Second, we already know the 5090 will demolish core algorithms and crush the 170HX in them. But right now, we really only have one core mineable coin, which will eventually go ASIC only, and I'm talking about Aaliyah. So this video is going to assume that memory algorithms will be the primary algorithms for GPU miners this coming cycle, and that could always change as well. And finally, the prices, guys. We have absolutely no idea what the price of the 5090 will be until Jensen gets on stage and announces it. So we are going to have to take a guess. But at the same time, the 170HXs are also a moving target. As of filming this video, it's about 450-ish dollars on the secondary market. What that means is in a week or two, the 5090 price that I guess for this video could be absolutely way off the mark most likely more expensive, not cheaper. And the 170HX could have basically sold out and the prices could go up 25%. So make sure you remember that you wanna take these prices with the absolute biggest grain of salt you have. Take that salt pan from your Thanksgiving turkey and use it for this video. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's get started. You guys know that I've basically gone all in on the 170HX. And if you don't know that, I'll put some links down below. Go check out those videos. I think they're great viewing. So right now I have 48 of these things and they make up about 80% of my farm. So I am all in on memory algorithms this cycle. So let's compare the 170HX and the 5090. The reason I wanted to make this comparison is because if you know anything about the 170HX, you know that it gets about-ish 200 mega hash on ETH. Now, I know ETH can't be mined anymore, but we're using this as a comparison for the entire video for simplicity's sake for all you new and older miners out there who are curious. Here are the rumored specs of the 5090 without getting into too much detail. You can see them right here, thanks to Tech Power Up, and I did the math a long time ago, and basically... Without getting too much into it, because I don't want to slow down this debate, we can assume that the 5090 should get about 190-ish, give or take, mega hash on Ethereum, assuming it was mineable again. So we could say ETC for, for the purposes of this video as well. So now that you have that baseline and you understand that there might be some inherent bias for the 170HX on my side, because I already own a ton of them, let's start off with the first comparison, and that is price. On a surface level, we have to figure out a number that we think the 5090 is going to cost. So let's say it's going to cost $2,000 for the sake of this video. I personally think it's going to cost a little more, maybe like $2,200. But let's just do $2,000 so that we can keep the math easy. Now remember, this is actually just a guess. And I literally know nothing. So that's why I picked this nice round number. Now, after fees and shipping, right now a 170HX as of December 30th, 2024, when this video is going to drop, the 170HX is about around $500-ish. Now, you can probably find it a tiny bit cheaper, but for nice round numbers and for simplicity's sake, we are going to say $500. So, you are currently looking at about a 4 to 1 ratio in terms of you could buy four 170HXs to the cost of 15090 Or in mining terms, you can get 800 mega hash for the same price of 200 mega hash in the 5090. So obviously in that comparison, the 170HX crushes the 5090 in value. So first blood to the 170HX. So one, two, zero. Now that doesn't factor in efficiency. We honestly have not a clue how GDDR7 will affect efficiency because nobody has it in hand. And if you have it in hand, you're not saying a word. So until I get my hands on it or see something, I could guess 
but that's all it would be is is a guess. So let's just say for the sake of this debate and for the purposes of this video, the 5090 is twice the efficiency as a 170HX. If you're looking at close to 200-ish watts on a 170HX to mine ETH back in the day, and remember, this is just based on speculation in terms of the 5090, you're looking at about 100 watts on the 5090. So that would be, in my eyes, the best case. So let's talk about it like that. So is that much efficiency worth four times the price? I honestly don't think so, as the 170HX destroys everything else in terms of mining memory algorithms in efficiency and hash rate. So it's not like we're comparing, say, a 3070 to an RX 580 here. You remember all those comparisons back in the day? My initial opinion, based on nothing but me guessing the efficiency, is even at double the efficiency, the 170HX still wins because it's a fourth of the price. Two to nothing for the 170HX. Now, since we talked about memory algorithms, we have to talk about core algorithms as well. Like I already said, we know the 5090 is basically going to destroy every other GPU in core algorithms. Now, how much better will it be than the 4090? I'm not sure how the compute units are going to scale, and I would just be speculating, and I'm not even 100% sure how to speculate. We just know that it's going to slaughter everything else, and obviously the 5090 is going to crush the 170HX in core, and triple mining as well, so it's going to be a win for the 5090. So we're at 2 to 1 if you're keeping score. So we've talked about core and we've talked about memory, and I know people are already screaming, Croupman, you have not brought up AI into it. Yes, AI is going to be massive for the 5090. And since we know the 170HX can't do anything with AI, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that the 5090 will slaughter the 170HX, so we are now tied at 2 to 2. And it doesn't take an AI to write this script to segue perfectly into my next point, and you guys are not going to like it. The 5090 is going to be the best value AI GPU ever launched instantly, like the instant it launched, it will just be the best. Because remember, these things are basically just GPUs that failed to actually become AI GPUs in the first place. So what that basically means is, unless you have bots, or live by a micro center and can take the morning off and camp, or you have more money than you know what to do with, more than even the people that wanna buy these things for MSRP, you will not ever see one of these things for MSRP, like ever, ever. And at least for this GPU, and it might trickle down to the 4090 and maybe even the 3090, but I don't think beyond anything that has over 24 gigs of VRAM, you will see 2021 like shortages. High-end gamers, crypto miners, scalpers, and AI farmers are all going to be fighting for these GPUs. What does that mean for you, the crypto miner who is watching this video? It honestly doesn't matter how much money you have unless you are willing to pay scalper prices, which I do not think these things will make enough money in crypto mining to justify those prices that you will not ever get enough of these in mass to make it worth mining with. And this is coming from someone who had zero issues finding any GPUs during the last shortage. Because of this and the reality once this all set in, I dipped into my 5090 fund and bought more 170HXs a few weeks ago when they were cheap because I looked at these specs and I realized nobody is going to be able to get these in mass, like ever, unless you are not playing the game fair or you have more money than cents. And this is coming from someone who wants one of these for gaming. <laughs> I went from wanting three to four of these things to hoping I can snag one or two. Two would be preferable, one for mining and one for gaming, but I'll doubt I'll even be able to do that. So I'm really just trying to get one of them. So even if you want to be like one of those smart guys who bought full 4090 farms at launch and then dumped them for basically a little more than they paid, so they mined on them for two years for free essentially, I doubt you're going to be able to pull this off this time around. So that's a point to the 178x. So we are at 3 to 2, which leads me perfectly into my next point. My segues are on fire, guys. And that is going to be the red hot resale value of the 5090. The 5090 will not ever, ever, ever 
lose value while it's in production. The 4090 didn't, and the 5090 won't, and the 5090 is coming into more favorable market conditions than the 4090, especially in terms of crypto mining and AI. Oh, and gaming too, because did we mention that the 5090 has no comparison or no competitor? So until we get a next-gen offering from NVIDIA or AMD or maybe even Intel, but I highly doubt it, you can pretty much with almost 100% certainty assume that your 5090, if you're lucky enough to get one, they're going to go up in value. There is not going to be a greater physical store of value in the next two years than, say, the 5090. So basically, the 5090 is going to win this, but, but, but. I don't want you to sleep on the 170HXs because when these things launched, they were almost $5,000 during the height of the 2021 crypto bull market. Now, I am more than certain that they will never come even close to this price again, but it is not out of the realm of possibility to say that in the height of the next bull cycle, which hopefully will be sometime next year, that these things may not get close or over to $1,000 in value. So basically double what you paid. Now, this is not a sure thing like the 5090 store value will be, but you can basically say that these things are not going to go down in price anytime soon. So even if you poorly time your sale on these, you won't lose any money. And if you time your sale perfectly on these, you could double your money on them, maybe. So while the 5090 wins this one, you kind of have to consider the 170HX too. So they like they like both kind of win, but the 5090 kind of wins a little more. Points for the 170HX versus three points for the 5090. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a sweet segue into our last point. But if you know anything about the 170HX, as you know that they require their own box, a server case to mine with. We know that with the 5090, you could literally shove it in anything you want, whether it be a server case, a PC, or an open airframe, and it'll be able to mine on its own. Whereas the 170HX absolutely needs that box that I'm currently crying in. You have no choice on the matter. You can take fans, but they're messy and they're loud, so whatever. You're going to need to factor in the cost of a server case, the, the cost of server fans, etc, etc, etc. And these will be a lot harder to mine with in a home as they will A, take up a lot more space because server cases take up more space and B, server cases are also loud. So you're not going to have a server case in your gaming room for se per se or like in the living room. I mean, you might, but you shouldn't or you don't have a family. Regardless, the 5090 is going to be much easier to deploy. So a point for the 5090. Okay, so I think I covered all the relevant topics on the 170HX to the 5090 debate. And if you're keeping score on the scorecard, which honestly, it doesn't matter anymore. Because when you factor in what is likely going to be the sky high, astronomically high price of the 5090, and more importantly, your inability to source any of these in any kind of mass, in any kind of bulk, like most people are gonna be lucky if they get one of these much less three or four, you're not going to see anybody with the whole rig of these things. I highly doubt it unless they can order them wholesale. So never say never, but you won't actually see it in mass. Which means that even though the 5090 is going to be a monster in mining in every way, shape, or form, and basically from a technological standpoint, it's going to be the undisputed king of GP mining ever, you're just not going to be able to buy it in mass or deploy it in any kind of mass when compared to the 170HX. So for me, and I don't even think it's close, and you can say I'm biased because I probably am, but I really, really thought long, long and hard about this when I went about selling my 30 series GPUs to upgrade my farm to either 50 series or the 170HX. I think the 170HX wins and it's not even close. So let me know what you think in the comments. And remember, I will be covering the 5090 announcement and all things 50 series and all things AMD and all things GPUs next week in Las Vegas at CES. So come take a look and we'll talk about it then and we'll see how wrong or how right this video was. So again, please let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree and I'll see you guys next week in Vegas. Peace out.